So welcome to the cockpit of the TBM 930. And as you can see, we have three huge mega gigantic screens in front of us and also two smaller screens, which are your touch screens. And yeah, so real nice, real nice. Now, one of the first things that we do when uh, we, we enter into a vehicle, obviously, like any car or any vehicle is adjust the seat position. So at the moment, the seat is really low. Okay, we shouldn't really fly like this. So what we need to do is press the uh, up key, arrow key, and just raise the seat until you just about see the front front engine cowling. Uh, so we're talking about line of sight from your eyes, right the way across the glare shield, right to the front engine cowling. So this is the, the, the official uh, sighting or, or, or seat adjustment height to fly this aircraft. Okay, and uh, just another useful tip real quick. So you can see I've actually got some custom views. Throttle and overhead and the front. A little bit of adjustment there on the pilot front view and avionics and uh, passenger rear view. Now, how to get those views is really easy. Okay, so I'll just show you real quick. Uh, press the escape button to bring you to this option screen. Click on controls. Okay, if you're not already in keyboard, select keyboard, camera, cockpit camera, and there you will have on the left side are the default keys. Now, selecting Alt-0 for a custom view is really not practical, especially if you're flying. It's not practical with one hand at all. So the good thing is that you can change it. So I have changed it to caps lock. And I don't use the numbers, I use the letters. So I use Q, W, right the way down to uh, here, V or C, all right? So the way you do that is click there, click uh, this part here and select caps, Q together. All right, click validate and it's, it will be selected for you, okay? So those, that is how you actually select your or change the keys set up all right and this one is good to do as well control caps lock q control caps lock w so this is the save custom camera view right so let's have a look at that in practice okay click no to save you would obviously click apply and save so, for example, say we want to save, uh, let's go. So I want to just get a good look at the wing as I'm flying. So I would go to, for example, I want to choose the X key. So I go caps, so control lock, caps and X. All right. Move the screen. Then to load the custom view select caps and X and it goes there so that's an easy way to do it okay so let's get back to what we were doing right so we have our flight plan from Simbrief and we can see here the uh, route we just looked at we have a Luma 5 S departure and the uh, GITOG 2 uh, golf arrival all right so what we need now is to go down to this section here and we want to look at the weights that Simbrief has given us for our aircraft so four passengers and we're coming in at 4,607 pounds along with fuel on board and uh, 
it's got given us total taxi weight and this is the figure we want take off weight 6351 okay so we need to either write that down or keep it in mind 6351 another figure we need for fuel for flight planning is the fuel that we need to get from a to b now where it says here planned ramp this is the figure that we need 1044 so we've got two figures 1044 and 6351 okay uh, so the uh, fuel we actually need is 408 here that's the burn fuel okay so let's go to um, actually while we're here we can just uh, turn on now uh, make sure our parking brake is on yep and we'll just turn this on so that we're not looking at that blank screens okay and the garments are booted up and we'll just click this button here right so you can see we have no flight plan loaded as yet so what I want to do now is go to the uh, simulator flight plan so we'll come out of this and we'll go to main menu okay main menu and we'll select our departure airport Lima India Papa X-ray and I see well let's actually get rid of this Adobe reader okay and we'll select the arrival airport which is uh, Lira Champino Rome okay so we have a straight route there and we don't want that so we'll select over on the left hand corner IFR uh, we'll select high altitude airways okay and it's given us pretty much a similar route as to what we see in Simbrief okay right we want to select our uh, actually one of the good things that we can do is that I like to do because uh, I like to zoom to details and you notice here we have a green dot at the threshold of the runway now if, you are, if I was just to select fly it would actually take me on the runway engines started and ready to go so we don't want that so what we want to do is click on one of the parking ramps uh, say ramp 24 click on that set as departure all right so now when we do click fly then we will see that we will actually start uh, cold and dark from this ramp okay now uh, what we need to do is select our departure and we're going to go to the Luma 5 Sierra departure and you can see that Luma 5 Sierra departs from platform 4 Pla oh, platform 4 runway 4 <laughs> I don't know why I said that runway 4 um, uh, my, my secular work from previous years ago so okay we are on right Luma 5 S uh, Sierra departure and we need to look at our arrivals so what was it it was the Gito wasn't it uh, let's see if we can find that there you are Gito to Golf and we select that right and now we need to select our approach up here and uh, ILS 15 would be the most appropriate one right and then we zoom in okay now what is it done this isn't right this isn't right so how do we fix this well let's zoom in a bit more and see what's happening 
ah, I can see what's happening. It's actually sent us to this um, VOR or um, point here. So we need to remove this. Click remove and then everything should be okay. There we are. That's fine. All right. Now what we want to do is just try and make our trip a little bit more exciting. We want to try and go via these points of interest. So uh, we want to add Bologna to our route. So click on it and then click add and then we get rid of Ditum, remove and Florence select add and we want to remove PDEP and remove Dipvo and yeah that looks okay all right so that is our root set and if we click on the navlog button which is on the top right hand corner it brings us to this screen and this page gives us a different perspective on our flight plan so for example our lower left we see the waypoint log and we can see exactly uh, the waypoints that we have to go through heading distance and altitudes frequency uh, speed and estimated time on route for various segments of our flight plan and just at the top there on the left you can see as we begin our journey from uh, Lima India Papa X-ray we'll go through that little turn and we'll climb up to uh, Delta 3 3000 and 50 feet and climbing up to LUMAV and that LUMAV is the end of our uh, SID heading up to Bologna in the cruise Florence and up to 21,000 feet not there for very long because very soon we'll be uh, descending at GTOD and beginning our star and our approach right down into uh, Champino Airport. So we're looking at 3,000 feet, uh, say uh, just a few miles off of the airport. So we need to be here at this point so we can make our approach and landing. So yeah, that's a a nice little feature on Microsoft Flight Simulator. So we just click Navlog to go back to where we were. Okay, so we are back in the cockpit and now you can see that the flight plan that we've just created is now loaded on the screen. Now, how we get to see more of this is that if you put your mouse there over the button at the bottom and then you will scroll the mouse wheel out and you can see that we can see more of the flight plan but we still can't see all of it well one neat little feature on this uh, uh, the G3000 is if you click the same button from the top it comes up with a mouse pointer control or mouse pad and what you can do if you move it from the top here it gives you control of a mouse. You move it down and it will move the flight plan down like that. Go to the top again and move it down and you can literally, literally just scroll across and scroll anywhere. All right. Uh, what we can do is zoom out a little bit more. Uh, which way? I always f forget which way to scroll to zoom out. All right. So we're zooming out quite a lot here. All right, and that is the maximum. Can't zoom out anymore. So we'll have to use the mouse point control to see our flight plan. All right, so uh, there it is as we've created it on the uh, sim flight planner. Okay, so we can bring that into the main uh, middle part of the screen and then we can actually zoom in from here and move it over a bit and zoom in again see i've forgotten again which way to scroll 
I'm going to have to try and find some way to reverse this. And uh, there we are. That is the uh, star and approach that we've set up. Okay. Right, and this is essentially where ATC is going to lead us. Unless, as in most cases, ATC uh, will not follow the approach and uh, do what they want with us. Okay, so... Right, now, what we want to look at is weights. So let's uh, go to the top, go to weights, and bring this screen up. Those figures, if you remember, is 1044 for the planned ramp fuel and a 6351. So uh, 6351 is are, are the weight. So let's just change this to 175. That's the wrong one to tap. Go down to the next one. All right. Uh, 175. Next one. 175. Oops, that's giving me over calculation there. And at next one, 175. So uh, we're looking at about um, 500 pounds. So let's change it to pounds up top here. There we go. So we want about uh, 500 and 30, let's just say 530, 530 uh, pounds in each tank. So 508, uh, we had 528 there. Uh, let's have a look. 518, 528, and that's at 54%. So we can make the other one 54%. Uh, let's see if we can get that. Oh, I went past it. 54%. Okay, so uh, let's look at the total. So fuel is one zero five six. I think that's that's the closest we're going to get. And payload is given us a payload of seven hundred pounds. Where that's come from? So we have six three eight five. So what would we want? We want six three five one. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it there. That's close enough. Okay, and the fuel planned ramp, we've got our fuel uh, sorted out. So that is it. And you can see the center of gravity is nicely in the middle there. So that is it for fuel calculations. And we'll just uh, get out of that. And that's the end of the video. Uh, there's nothing else I can think of at the moment. In the next video, we'll go through the flight preparations and there will be uh, taxiing out to be active and uh, starting our flight towards Champino. So I do thank you for watching. Please do, if you like the video, please do like and subscribe for more videos and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can be notified as and when I upload uh, videos uh, most of the time on a weekly basis. So thanks for watching and see you again real soon in the next video.